welcome to my youtube channel powerpoint university in this tutorial i am going to show you how to create this very useful animated slide in powerpoint this is how the slide works when i click it will show you the headline 1 2 3 4 and 5 with the light options and i've created the same slide in a different way so the 5 option comes there so let's see how to create this slide in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes and select a rectangle draw the rectangle like this and make the width as 2.6 make it no outline and give some different color I'm just going to use some light gray go to insert again shapes select a rectangle one more time draw the rectangle this much size again make it no outline and give some different color if you like zoom the slide go to insert shapes and select a right triangle draw the right triangle like this give some different color and make it no outline and rotate it flip vertical and flip horizontal so I'm going to delete this part make sure that it's aligned properly first select the rectangle then the right triangle under merge shapes select subtract so that part is deleted just reduce the font size press ctrl D and bring it top and rotate it flip vertical and you can just increase the size if you want you can bring it down and insert one more rectangle this is to give a 3d effect make it no outline and give some light color later on we'll change the colors I'm just going to change the color of the rectangle select any dark color and you can go to the format shape and give the shadow effect say offset right and increase the distance and blur the shadow I'm going to select this one and give some dark color I'm going to give some black color here and for this you can select either black or white and give the transparency level make it no outline this is the slide which I created uh, some time back or some months back so I'm just going to use some of the objects here so I'm just going to copy this you can search this slide in my youtube channel so um, why am I doing this one just to save the time so reduce the size of the lamp and place it here I'm going to draw a bulb for this I'm going to select a oval shape
we have to spend a little bit time here change the color maybe white looks better for this but let's see how the other color looks and i'm going to give some a uh, glow effect for this I'm going to give a white color and say send back. And you can zoom actually if you're doing a uh, small objects like this better to zoom and do your work And from here, I'm just going to take this object, which is the light rays, paste it here and reduce the size. Maybe you can change the color of the light. Maybe this one, I'm just going to set some light blue here and increase the transparency level. Because the animation is already there, which is I have copied from the old slide. So the animation exists there. Later on, I'm going to delete the animation. Now go to insert shapes and select a oval one more time place it over here and go to the format properties and just first change the color to the same color as of background and go to the properties effects under 3d format select soft round I'm going to add one more oval shape change the color and select both the options and align center and align middle Make it a line center and align the middle. And I'm just going to insert some text here. Type the title. I'm using the font Helvetica, or if you would like to use some other fonts, it's up to you to decide. And I'm just going to add a description for that. Make sure to align it properly. and just say send back I'm 
Now if you see, this is how it looks like. I'm just going to make it in the center and select all the objects press ctrl G or right mouse click group press ctrl D to duplicate and paste it just make sure that it is somewhat overlapping and then say send to back You can add 5 or 6 or 7 depending on your requirement. But you have to make sure the size will be small if you are adding more options. I am going to just change the colors for the oval shape. So I have changed the color of all the circles. I'm just going to select this one and bring it down. I'm bringing 10 points down, just clicking the 10 times the arrow key. But we'll ungroup this and select only the objects actually you can select the oval shape also and bring it down along with this which I forgot to do that one but you can do it later as well you have to make sure that the all objects are selected otherwise it may go here and there And don't select any other objects select only the objects related to this options bring the circles down as well which I forgot to do with while doing the the other options down and I'm just going to insert some the, the numbers there I'm going to use a font called Oswald make it bold and increase the size make it 0 1 and place it here and make sure that you have to use the same color as you have used for the circles above align it properly And change the numbers as well as you need to change the colors go to format or sorry go to home color and just using the pen you can use these colors Use the eyedropper
now you can copy and paste the icons which i have downloaded from the internet this is a website called www.thenounproject.com you can download it from free now it's time to give some animations go to animation enable the animation pane and before giving the animation i just need to do the grouping also first ungroup it i have to send this back otherwise i cannot able to select the light there Select the, the light rays, the animation select the wipe effect and see effect options from top and then you have to select the text. For the text I am just going to make it the grouping of the three text. Or if you want to do, you can do one by one. But grouping will save the time. The same, I'm going to use the wipe effect from top. And this should be after previous. So if I play, when I click, yeah, this is okay. So similarly, I have to do for the, the remaining options. And then using the animation painter, you can do the painting, uh, do the animation copying. So just do for the rest of the options as well. 3, 4 and 5 so let's see when I click option 1, option 2, 3, 4 and 5 that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.